What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this before. I'm going to be modeling clothes for you guys that I picked up on a clothing haul today. I've been asking for clothing hauls, haven't we? And I haven't been able to do them. But the goal moving forward is whenever I go shopping to film these for you guys because you guys always comment on my style and it's really sweet of you. It makes me feel really good about what I wear. So, <laughs> I went to a couple stores today. I went to Burlington Coat Factory, which is a store I think is overlooked a lot. And I also went to Ross. And then I also went to Rue 21, but didn't find anything in there. So I didn't get anything. But I went to these two stores today and I spent about $56 on everything I'm about to show you. I've had a lot of you guys ask for tips on style and things like that. So that's kind of essentially what this video is gonna be about. My next one, I do want to come up with some way to tell you guys like as you're losing weight where to shop and things like that so let me take you on a little adventure a little video montage shall we of all the stores that I went in today so you could see everything that I picked up and everything I decided to put back and then I'm going to show you what I actually got today and how much everything was I was kind of surprised whenever you requested a video like this so I'm gonna give it a try basically I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of content you would like to see on my channel and one of the biggest comments basically was an outfit haul or like how I shop. So I was going to show you guys what stores I like to go into to find clothes whenever your weight changes and stuff like that. But I also was going to do just an outfit haul because some people have been asking for this. So I'm getting ready to go into Burlington Coat Factory. There's also a Rue 21, a Ross, a TJ Maxx, and a Rainbow all in this strip mall that I'm going to go explore and see what I can find for you guys and we'll see what kind of clothes we can come up with, shall we? guys this first shirt is something that I got from Burlington Coat Factory for a $7.99 it was on the clearance rack like I told you guys I only ever shop clearance I don't like buying things full price normally because you can look in the clearance and find things for a lot cheaper and even though I have a lot of clothes that's how I get them I don't pay full price for my clothes so this shirt like I said I got from Burlington Coat Factory in the clearance section it's this cute Hawaiian print that'll be perfect for the summertime. Whenever I saw this, I automatically thought of wearing my short overalls or my long overalls with this underneath it, of course. I thought about the summertime being able to wear it over a cute pair of shorts and tying it up. So that kind of makes it a little bit more of a crop. Um, you could also tuck it into jeans like this or skinny jeans. Another really cute idea that comes to mind to me is just like some skinny capris and some white converse or something like that. You can more than likely also open it up and wear it with just a white undershirt underneath it um, to kind of be more flowy and like 
summertime -y. especially with the paper bag pants that are out now. I could picture this with some of those short paper bag pants. Um, really, there's lots of endless possibilities for a button-down shirt, and this one is super summery, and it's just super cute. Like I said, $7.99 at Burlington Coat Factory. I feel like Burlington gets looked over a lot, and I'm going to show you why, because of the other stuff I got from there, too. <laughs> This is another thing I got from Burlington Coat Factory. It's just a sports bra. I believe it's medium support and it was $7, $6.99. And it's super comfortable. Like I said, it was on sale and that's a great place for you to go to if you're looking for new activewear. It's Burlington Coat Factory or Ross or TJ Maxx in their clearance section because they'll always have sports bras or leggings or whatever you like to wear whenever you work out so um this is something that i got like i said from burlington and i need a new sports bra so bad i need new activewear so bad you might need to do a clearance activewear haul all right the next set of tops i got i got from ross so i just walked over next door and looked through their items as well what i'm wearing now this shirt and the one it came with so you really get a deal because you get two shirts for like eight dollars both of these shirts were eight dollars it's a really great deal to pick up two packs like this because i love striped shirts anyways but you can take this you could tie it up like so just in the side wear it like this you can wear it under overalls you could wear it with a skirt over the top of it tuck it into your jeans tuck it into your shorts leave it out it's so soft and so comfortable and like i said for eight bucks you get two of these super soft shirts this is a size small too um and it's a little loose which i like about a lot of my clothes it's really comfortable and definitely worth the eight dollars for both of the shirts that you can wear with anything they're like staples <laughs> This next piece is something that I saw on the clearance rack that I thought was super interesting. It's BCBG brand. I got this at Burlington. It was $10. And it's just this cute romper that you could really wear just sandals with in the summertime if you want to dress it down. You could wear heels with it if you want to dress it up. And it's also super comfortable, kind of loose. I believe this is a size medium. This thing unties, so I mean, I guess you could tie it in the back if you wanted to, but I think it's super cute tied in the front like this. And you got a super cute lightweight romper for the summertime. I know whenever I was a little bit bigger I loved rompers and I just couldn't find one that really fit my body and um, really is you just have to keep looking and keep trying. Big tip is to try on the things that you don't think you're going to feel comfortable in because a lot of the times the things you don't feel comfortable in is something that you'll actually find super cute. Step out of your comfort zone and see what you can find. That's kind of my motto. <laughs> So, you know how I told you guys I don't like spending full price on things? I fell in love with this freaking dress. It is so cute, so summery. I mean, you can wear the sleeves up like this. You can pull them down kind of like how I had it. It's just very cute. Perfect for sandals this summer. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping that I can wear it in Portland, which is one of the reasons that I got it. But it's so cute and I feel super confident in it as well. This also can go up higher, it can go lower. I like it where it is right now personally, but it just is one of those dresses that makes me feel super good about myself. And so I went ahead and I spent the $17 on it because I fell in love with it when I put it on. It was like, when you know, you know. It's just super cute and flowy and it's just fun and that's why I got it. So something like this with like either a straw hat, um, like I said, some heels or some sandals in the summertime would be really cute. And uh, that's why I got it. <laughs> Alrighty everybody, this is the last thing that I got and I also spent full price on this because everybody needs sexy little black dress and that's how this makes me feel I have a love-hate relationship with bodycon dresses because I have so much loose skin from my weight loss I have a hard time wearing anything that's super slimming to my body usually in bodycon dresses I usually have to go up a size from what I normally wear so a lot of the times I wear small clothes small to medium I have a very wide rib cage so I have to size up sometimes to even larges in my bodycon because of how they fit over my body and then I'll wear shapewear over top of it to make myself a little bit better but anyway this like I said is just a black bodycon dress I'm not wearing shapewear with it it's a size medium which was really surprising to me it definitely helps that these um, ruffle. It kind of hides where I'm more self-conscious of. You can see my underwear line, so I definitely would need to get um, some different type of underwear to wear with this. But it's super cute, like super simple black dress, heels, absolutely. I mean, just it would be perfect for that. Very feminine, very pretty, very date night, which is another reason why I got it because I want to wear it somewhere in Portland when we go next week. So I'm super excited about that. Can you guys tell? 
But really guys, that is it. That is what I got today. Like I said, I spent about $56. I got two dresses, a romper, three shirts, and a sports bra. So I mean, I think that's pretty good for $56. Like I said, always shop in the clearance section. You never know what you might find there. Step out of your comfort zone, try on things that you don't really think you would like, but you think are cute. It could really surprise you, especially if you were like me and you had gone from a really big size to a smaller size and some of the clothes that you think are cute, you'd never used to wear because you felt like it didn't look good on you try them on now and see if your perspective has changed like I said for example bodycon dresses I used to hate trying on bodycon dresses just because I could see my stomach line and it really bothered me and yes I do still have that now but I feel so much more confident with how I look than I did back then not that there was anything wrong with the way that I looked I just wasn't happy with the way that I looked, which is why I changed and why I am who I am today. Anyway, like I said, you guys, that was my clothing haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please let me know, and I hope to have a video out for you guys shortly talking about tips for clothes shopping whenever you lose weight. Like I said, clearance is a big one of those, so. Anyways, thanks so much, guys, for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next one.